As Knox County families prepare to start a school year, unlike any other, many are facing some new obstacles. Here's a look at how those challenges can impact different families. Meet Rita. She's a sixth grader who lives at home with her mom and dad. Meet her classmate, James, who also lives at home with his parents. Rita's dad has a great job and her mom is able to stay at home. They're in the minority because the Bureau of Labor Statistics says in 64% of families with kids, both parents work. James' dad is an essential worker. He takes the overnight shift at a local grocery store and sleeps during the day. His mom has a job too, so they can pay rent and afford health care. These past few months have affected Rita and James very differently. When their school went online in March, Rita was ready. She got an iPad for Christmas and Zooms all the time with friends. Her family's high-speed internet makes it a breeze. According to a Microsoft study, James and his family are like more than 160 million other Americans who don't have access to broadband. Their computer's old and they use dial-up. Video conferencing with his classmates hardly ever worked and downloading video took forever. Over the summer, Rita's mom read all the research on just how important time with friends is for kids Rita's age. So she organized plenty of socially distant playdates. James hasn't seen his friends in months. His family lives in an apartment where there's not a lot of room to socially distance, and the nearest park is several miles away, too far for him and his buddies to walk. James and Rita School just announced this fall families can choose between in-person classes or virtual learning. Rita's parents are worried about her getting sick, so they're going to keep her at home. James' parents are worried too, but with their jobs and no child care, keeping him at home was never an option. Rita's parents don't want her to fall behind, so they'll take her to a private tutor. James' parents didn't even know about tutors and could never afford one anyway. They want to help James with his homework when they can, but with their work schedules, there's hardly any time. Rita and her family are excited about the upcoming school year and plan to make the most of a bad situation. James is scared about the fall, and he and his family aren't sure how they'll make it work. Now here in Knox County, each student is being provided with a Chromebook free of charge. Families have been given the option to buy insurance. The first day of school, by the way, is Monday.